What's up, guys and gals? I'm your host, Mike Pugh of the FPC Virtual Channel. And what you're looking at here is known as Pixabay. Pixabay is an awesome, awesome image and photo depository and pretty much an archive but not just for photos, it's for free photos. You can also get videos, free videos. And all of this is for you to utilize for your content online. It's in the public domain, which means that it has what is known as a CC0 1.0 license from the Creative Commons for the public domain. So I'll give y'all guys and gals a little glance on that. All right, so if y'all guys and gals are still with me, what is the Creative Commons? What is CC0 1.0? CC0 1.0 is pretty much a license. Right now we're on Google. And if you wanna find it, you can go on Google and just type CC0, okay? And then when you get there, you'll be able to at least link to the official page. Or you can go to the creativecommons.org. Let's go to the official license here, it says Creative Commons, and we'll click it. And y'all will get a chance to see what it's all about pretty much an online license for images will grant you specific permissions for you to utilize it. So that's really what it is. A CC0 1.0 is a license for you to be granted permission to use X amount of photos or every photo on that particular website, whatever the website dictates when you go into the details. You go and you find out the details and that actual website will tell you whether or not you can use it. And you gotta make sure that that website is an official public domain if you chose to utilize it, because then again, the responsibility falls back on you because maybe you didn't do the research. But this is the Creative Commons uh, CC0 1.0 Universal, or also known as CC0 1.0. It's a public domain dedication. And if you read the details here, you'll see it says no copyright, and then it says the person who associated a work with this deed has dedicated the work to the public domain by waiving all of his or her rights to the work worldwide under copyright law, including all related and neighboring rights to the extent allowed by law. Then also under that, it says you can copy, modify, distribute, and perform the work, even for commercial purposes, all without asking permission see other information below so you can go and read the other information and then it details a little bit more about the actual cc 1.0 i'm gonna put a link in the bottom of this video's description area so you can get there just to see you know this actual license for yourself so let's go back to the pixabay now i showed you originally starting off pixabay and it was through my iphone so that's why I created this video. I wanted y'all folks to get to understand a little bit about Pixabay starting out. It grants you permission to use these photos for free. You have no issues with them. Now on Pixabay, you have to be careful because there's advertisements on it as well. So make sure you look and you stare away from what is known as Shutterstock. You, you stare away from those in terms of trying to use it as free images because those particular ones are not gonna be the ones that you can utilize. If you see any of them and it has a watermark on it, then you know you can't use it. Now, if you notice here, it says free images and videos can use anywhere. Now there's these two links. You have your Google Play. So if you have an Android device, if you chose to use any of your Android devices, you can get Pixabay on your Android. And you can also get it on your iOS devices, which is pretty cool. I didn't even realize that they had that. So that's why I'm creating this video. So let's head back to the iOS version. I did videos about the actual website version. With the website version, you can get the videos. You can also get vectors and you can get images. The easiest way to do it is go here in this search area, which is the upper portion of Pixabay. And you just click where it says all images and then you can choose what type you want. You can go for videos. So you tick mark the videos and then you decide to search. Maybe I wanna search for stars, right? And then, of course, click enter. And these are all videos of 
stars. So these videos are also in the public domain. So you could use these for your actual films that you want to shoot or vlogs or poetry videos, spoken word, I don't know, whatever you want to create, you can utilize this content and it's free on Pixabay with no problem whatsoever to come back to you in terms of copyright issues. So that's something that's pretty awesome. You can see these videos are very high quality and you'll be able to go pretty far with this type of stuff if you know how to curate the content and create something that has relevance to what you wanted to come up with. So the whole thing with video creation and development on YouTube is relevance, right? It's audience. And you have to basically be able to create content that caters to the audience that you're choosing to reach. That's one, one of the ways to make it work. Look at this one. This is pretty cool earth video. Who wouldn't want to have this as a backdrop or more like, a, um, how would you say, something that they can create an intro for their videos and they can put a text around it and different things like that you can play with this and create a great deal maybe even create a, a show dealing with space you never know that's just an example all right so now that you understand the basics to pixabay let's try to use the mobile version to find i don't know can we find videos let me click the search here i don't think i can find videos but nope it's not going to allow me to find videos. It says photo illustration vector. So what I did, right? Let's go back. There's no videos in here. So you can't obviously download videos onto your mobile device because videos are way too large of a file. So I just wanted y'all folks to check that out. All right. So if you wanted to go through Pixabay, maybe to do a photo search or whatever, maybe you wanted to search for cats, right? You type in cats and that's just a text search. And you'll basically have to just scroll through and find whatever you want to put into your photo archives. Maybe I wanted these here, these little cuties, right? Really cool, right? And then you're going to use these icons in the upper left. You have the down arrow with the slash. That's the download arrow, but it's not actually going to download anywhere. It's going to send it somewhere. And then this one, uh, the rounded arrow is a share arrow. It's basically the same thing. When you look at it with the download one though the difference is that you're be you're able to select the pixel size so you can select 640 by 458 you can select 1280 by 915 anything greater than 1280 by 915 which is the medium size you're gonna have to make sure that you're signed in to your pixabay account if you don't have a pixabay account then what you're gonna have to do is obviously create one in order to get a larger size to put onto your device. It's not really a download, but I'll show you. I'm gonna go for the 920 by 137, well, 1372, whatever. Um, the 1920 by 1372, you just tap it. Takes a little while to render to the other side of wherever it's gonna send it to. And you can save it. You can click save image in the bottom left corner, or you can send it to any of these social apps or applications you have tied in. You can also click copy, you can print, you can assign to contact and add it to iCloud Drive. I don't do all that stuff. I love to save it. And that save is going to go to your actual photo archive on your device. Um, Android devices may operate a lot differently. So I'm going to do another video for those who use Android. This is just an iOS version because I have an iPhone right now that I'm displaying it on. Um, you can send it to whatever devices, like I said, what I just did there, I just tap more. There's three dots here in the upper right corner. And then you have the option to send it to any of these devices. Um, how you do it, you indicate and put the green. When you tap one of these little buttons, that green means that you're sending it to those devices. You can open up those devices to send it to. And you'll see the icon appears once you click that green tap, whatever, green button. And that's about it. So I'm going to save this one just to show y'all folks that it's in my photo archive. So let's go and tap into the camera application and let's go check out. That's my desk right there. Let's go check out the cats. So this is basically what I stored. These are my photo archives, some recent photos, video, etc. So let's go back out. So there you go with that. Now it resized. Wow. Let's figure out why it did that. 
Oh, because I changed the applications. Hmm. That's weird. Let's move this over. That's what happened with the uh, other video that I did. When I changed applications, it resized to a huge, huge sizing. I don't know why it's doing that. But um, let's see again. Let's see what it does when I go to the photo. Yep. Okay, I see what it's doing. So when you go to the photo itself, it resizes. But here goes the actual cats on the camera app. Funny stuff, right? All right, let's back out. I don't want to look at that. Let's back out all the way. Okay, so there you go. It's funny playing around with this thing, trying to get it to work effectively and properly. While I'm doing this, I might just edit out some of those errors, whatever, or just leave it the way it is. It's all good. All right, so let's go back to Pixabay. Um, anything else I can show y'all, folks? I'm not sure. That little eye, if you tap the eye, it basically tells a lot about the photo, it gives information, basically tells you the type of camera that was used, the information on the camera, resolution, created when it was created, the views it has, and downloads. That's pretty cool, and then it has some tags. Tap anywhere on the screen and that disappears, and then under it, it has the user who uploaded it, which basically is the original owner, and then it has thumbs, a star, and a message. You can actually tap the message location and send them a message of thank you or whatever and i wish there was a donate option that would be cool for them to be able to be donated to for putting up these nice photos for us and giving us this ability to utilize it as a free usage on public domain location such as pixabay look at this this is really a nice one if you wanted to try to get any of the photos that's displaying on the actual um, home page on the mobile version you just tap the screen and that sends you to the actual location to utilize that photo. So I'm gonna use this one, this is really cool. I wanna try the largest size because I wanna photo manipulate it, edit it, and then probably use it in some other effective way in the future. You never know. So there you go with that. I'm gonna hit the thumbs up for sure with that one. Hit the X and then basically that's it right there in a nutshell how Pixabay works. Um, you can tap those three dots on the upper right corner. Then you have a way to browse images, my profile, messages about Pixabay. Let's go to browse images again and see it gives you that same ability. So there's different ways for you to browse your images that you choose to pretty much move onto your device and to utilize. And Pixabay is loaded. There's tons of images out here on Pixabay. So keep that in mind. If you want to find some awesome images be my guess and try to use this um, it's much better than using Google if you're trying to use Google you're gonna have to use the search filter for the actual public domain so you can pretty much filter in what kind of photos you want that are legal to use um, the issue online is copyright and you don't want to violate other people's copyright while you're trying to create content or curate content from another location on into your actual content you're creating maybe it's a blog that you're creating or it's a youtube video you don't want to get hit with violations while you're doing that on any network you're on or whatever the case may be whether it's youtube etc so that's why i like to share this kind of content with people in my videos the knowledge base behind it pretty much so that y'all folks can learn and gather some good good know-how and be able to apply it into what you can do and you can create a lot more stuff and you can go further without having so many speed bumps or without losing your monetization because monetization is the ability to give you that drive to keep going online right and you don't want to lose that so there you go with that hopefully y'all folks like this video and care to spread it socially if you feel that it's going to benefit other people the usage of, of pixabay dot com the website as well as the actual mobile versions is awesome and um definitely when you're on the website version check on the information on there i'll show you a little bit before i leave so that y'all folks can understand some of the stuff that i know and i learned a while back i'm not gonna even edit this part let's go over to pixabay so over here you're gonna read this information that says cc0 public domain right 
free for commercial use, no attribution. Learn more. You can click learn more and that's gonna lead you to the terms and et cetera, et cetera. But some photos will say editorial purposes only. This is actually a video. This is not a photo. Uh, I believe I showed that already. But um, if you wanted to go into, photo, let's go back to photos, photo search, and then say we were going for um, news. Let's type news, right? And maybe you wanted this photo here. This is a really awesome, high quality photo. Um, you're gonna read the details over here. Some some photos say for editorial purposes only. So those would be for you, like if you're a news type of person and you wanna write some stuff about current news events or past news events. Or maybe you're a blogger and you're writing something in along the lines of that actual image in relevance to that image for an editorial purpose. So that's the whole purpose for that. Make sure you read the details and it doesn't say that. If it doesn't say that, then you can use it for any purpose. If it does say that, you have to use it for editorial purposes only. And it won't be allowed to be used in any other way as a free public domain usage. So I just wanted to give that information to y'all folks out there who don't know of it. And hopefully that can help you as well. Like I said, Joe Love and Peace to All, Mike Pugh signing off. And I'll see you in the next videos. Um, I'll be trying to do some tutorials along the lines for uh, YouTube creators. This could help YouTube creators as well. Um, imagery is everything pretty much online because that's how you connect to your viewers. You can make sure you work on it. And um, hey, free is better sometimes than not having something for free. And basically going out there and finding stuff that you can end up getting in trouble with. So that's why I like to put out the free content information. Hopefully it helped you and I'm out. Peace. Thanks a lot for watching my actual Pixabay photo public domain explanation and intro to the mobile Pixabay. I really do appreciate y'all folks for showing up. If y'all folks want to catch another video that I have, it's probably over here, yeah, this way, somewhere that way. Or you can also click up there to subscribe. There's a little circle and I'll have a video to my crash course series. If y'all folks want to learn a little bit more about YouTube, if you're just getting started, you can try that over there too. Peace.